Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, let's talk about all the books that I'm planning on reading in the month of March. So before we get to all the books that I plan on reading in the month of March, I want to quickly thank this video's sponsor, Nordgreen, who so, so kindly is working with me again. They are a Scandinavian watch company, and I'm so excited to be working with them because I genuinely love their watches. I love this simple, minimalist style that they pride themselves on. I think it's gorgeous, and the quality of these watches is fan fantastic. If you don't know what Nordgreen is, Nordgreen is a Scandinavian watch company that places a huge emphasis on inspiring awareness and action about the challenges facing the planet and humanity. So all of Nordgreen's packaging is made of recycled paper and plastic bottles, and every watch that's sold contributes to a meaningful cause. And you get to choose which cause you want to help donate to. The three causes that you get to select from are With Water for Good, which provides clean drinking water to a person in Central African Republic, Pradam UK, which provides one month of free education to a child in India, and With Cool Earth, you protect 50 square meters of rainforest in Latin America. I think that this is such a cool company. I selected the Nordgreen Infinity watch with the gold dial and the white strap. I think that this is gorgeous. I also have one with a black strap, so now I kind of have one that it can go with any outfit that I have. They have so many different designs as well. You can select from metal links or leather straps, vegan leather straps, and all different dial colors as well. And Nordgreen was so, so kind to also provide a discount code that you can use. So you can use the code JESSEM in your order to save 15%. I have a link down below that if you're interested in purchasing one of their watches, you can use that link. And to be fully transparent with you guys, if you do use that link and my discount code, I do get a small commission off of those purchases. So if you want to use that, you absolutely can. I can't thank Nordgreen enough for sponsoring today's video and working with me again. So now let's get to talking about all of the books that I plan on reading in the month of March. All right, so last month I actually was able to get to almost every book that was on my TBR, which I am, I'm shocked, I'm shocked. The only book I did not get to was Salem's Lot by Stephen King. So that one is going back on the whiteboard for the possibility of rolling it during the roll the dice game. However, before we get to rolling the dice, I did select five books off of my shelf that I do want to prioritize this month and didn't want to leave up to chance. So of those five books, three of them are sequels and two of them are anticipated releases for me this year. So the three sequels that I have are Age of Swords by Michael J. Sullivan. I read Age of Myth last month for that friend challenge that I did and I loved it. It was so good. I'm still thinking about the characters right now to this day. I'm so excited to get back into this world, to get back with these characters. I think that they are fantastic and I just love, love Michael J. Sullivan's writing style. So I'm really excited to be continuing on with this series because I've heard that it gets better and better and I'm so excited and I'm so nervous for these characters, but oh, I just can't wait to see where it goes. I also would love to get to A Dark Queen Rises by Ashok K. Banker, which is the sequel to Upon a Burning Throne. And that one I read last year as a buddy read with Elle, and I loved it. I thought it was so unique, so beautifully written, and I've been meaning to get to the sequel for quite a while now. And then the third and final book in this series comes out in May, so I definitely wanted to prioritize it and get to it before then. So I think that this is the perfect time. Not a whole lot of time is going to pass before the third one comes out, and I feel like it'll. if I read it now, it'll be fresh in my mind for that last book. So. Very excited to get to this one. And then the third sequel I have is the one that is taking the book community by storm, and it is House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J. Mass. Yes, I am planning on reading this for sure. Hopefully this month it is a really, really big book. It's big, it's big, big. <laughs> so hopefully I have time to fit this one in, but I am very excited to get to it. And I feel like Sarah J. Mass, the way she writes, 
it's really easy to get through her books quickly. Like I have a really easy time just flipping through the pages really quickly. So I'm excited to get to this because the way that the first book ended, it left me in tears. <laughs> it made me bawl like a baby. So I am, I'm very curious to see where this goes. And I'm very excited to get back into this world because it feels like it's been a really long time since I've been in this world. So yay for this. Then the two anticipated releases I have to read are Dead Silence by S.A. Barnes. This one was so kindly sent to me by Nightfire Publishing and it was my first ever book <laughs> from a publisher that I've received for review and I'm so grateful because this is one of my most anticipated releases. It says it is a cross between The Shining and Titanic. It is about a spaceship that has ghosts on it or something like that, like a haunted spaceship. Like, <laughs> say no more. That sounds so good. I'm so, so excited for this. I feel like I should read it um, when I'm on vacation. I'm gonna be on vacation this month and I, I feel like this would be a good time to read this book and get all spooked out. So <laughs> hopefully, hopefully I love this one. I just have a good feeling. I have a good feeling. I'm excited. And then the second anticipated release is one I've ordered but isn't quite here yet, and that is The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie O. Oh. So this one just sounds and looks beautiful, whimsical, it's YA fantasy, it's Asian inspired. It just, I'm so excited to get to it. And the cover is amazing. But hopefully I can get to all of those books this month. And then let's go ahead and roll the dice for five more books that I can add to my TBR, where if I have time, I can mood read and pick up whatever I'm feeling like. So let's start rolling the dice and see what I have to choose from. I'm really, really, really excited about what I rolled this month. So let's talk about them. I rolled Parable of the Sower by Octavia E. Butler. I have been wanting to read more Octavia Butler this year for sure because I really, really enjoyed Wild Seed and Mind of My Mind by her. She just has this way of writing that just makes you want to keep flipping the pages. It's like this beautiful writing that's very easy to understand, but yet explores these gorgeous themes in a really unique way. So I'm really excited to check this one out. I've heard it's amazing. I also rolled Binti by Nettie Akorafor, which is one of the 10 series that I wanted to start for sure this year. So. Here it is, I'm starting this, I'm very excited. It's, it is short, it is a novella, so that's nice. I can definitely, definitely fit it in for this month's TBR. I don't know much about this, I know it's sci-fi, and I really don't wanna know really anything at all because it's a novella, so I feel like just going in not knowing anything is probably best because I don't want anything spoiled or given away. So very excited to finally be checking out this one. I also rolled Caliban's War by James S.A. Corey. I I don't know how I feel about The Expanse. So I read Leviathan Wakes a really long time ago at this point. It was like October of 2020, I think, is when I read it. And I liked it, but it was like a 3.5 stars. Um, and they're really long books. And I've heard that this one has like a totally new cast of characters and follows a completely different plot, which is why I haven't felt like I've had to pick it up because I don't have to have the first book in this series fresh in my mind to like understand what's going on in this one. But just with how big these books are and with how long this series is, I feel like if this one doesn't blow me away, I don't know if I should continue on with it. So I'm kind of putting a lot of pressure on Caliban's War because I've been really picky with making sure that the series that I'm continuing this year are ones that I'm loving. 
So if, if I don't love this, I don't know that I'm gonna continue on with The Expanse because it's just so big. It's such a big series. So we will see. I hope I like it because I've heard so many good things about The Expanse series and people do say that the books get better and better. So the fact that I didn't love the first book, I still have faith that I'll hopefully love this one. So you'll have to let me know what you think of The Expanse um, and whether like it's worth continuing even if I don't love, love the second book. The next book that I rolled was Rosewater by Tade Thompson. So this one is another one that was on those 10 series that I wanna start. So I'm really excited that I got two of them this month. Rosewater sounds like this really unique sci-fi book that I've just heard really good things about. A couple people have talked about this really highly on their channels and I haven't seen like a ton of people talk about it. So I feel like it's still pretty underrated. So I'm hoping that this is like a really, really good hidden gem that a couple people really love. And, and hopefully I can join them in loving this. Uh, so I have, I have high hopes that I'm really gonna like this. It sounds really cool. It has to do with like this community in Africa that's surrounded by this biodome. And like there's some mystery with the biodome or something like that. It just sounds really cool. So I'm excited. I hope I love it. And then finally, the last book that I rolled for was The Crimson Script by S.J. Hull, which was a self-published book that was so, so kindly sent to me by the author. So I'm really excited to finally be getting around to this and hopefully I love it. I think that this cover is really cool with this mask. I just think it's so intriguing. This one, I think, follows this city that's kind of on the like brink of this civil war. And it follows this girl who's like the, the daughter of this magister, but at night she's kind of this, this thief and it's like rival gangs and it just sounds really cool. So I'm hoping I love this one because ugh, it, it sounds like something I'm just gonna adore. So I have, I have high hopes for the Crimson Script. So here is my March TBR with the addition of The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea once it arrives. Um, there are some very large books in here but there are also some kind of short ones. So maybe, maybe I'll have luck with this this CBR, I'm hoping so. So do you see any books on this list that you've read or that you want to read? Do you have anything to say about them? Let me know in the comments down below. I can't wait to chat with you all. And thank you again to Nordgreen for sponsoring this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.